So Habatha was taking a break from his daily grind as an IT consultant when he noticed a large amount of action in his hometown of Abbottabad. Atha did what any tech-savvy person would do. He began tweeting. Helicopter hovering above Abbottabad at 1 a.m. is a rare event. His Twitter name, at Really Virtual, has become an internet sensation. What Atha did not know was he was live tweeting the raid in which terrorist Osama bin Laden was killed Sunday. It's the power of, of the Twitter network, it's the immediacy of it, it's the fact that people want to share and as soon as something interesting happens it's retransmitted among friends. In fact, Twitter and other social media outlets is where news is increasingly breaking and the people sharing the information may surprise you. Twitter in particular, people put up, Keith Urban who used to work for Rumsfeld, uh, put up this post that many people are saying is the first indication that we had killed bin Laden. According to an online CNET poll, nearly half of respondents, a whopping 47 percent, received the news of Osama bin Laden's death online through Twitter, Facebook, or an online news website. The other half through traditional news sources like television, radio, and word of mouth. You don't go to Twitter to find the full truth on any particular topic. You go to see what's happening, what people are talking about. In spite of all this, Atha remains humble, saying, I'm just a tweeter, awake at the time of the crash. Not many Twitter users in Abbottabad. These guys are more into Facebook. In San Francisco, I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com for CBS News.